If it doesn't rain, you're gonna go on a trail ride? No, okay. It doesn't rain heavier. Yeah. You're gonna go on a trail ride? Good. Okay. Glad. I thought you were gonna say canter. Two point. I feel like Brandon doesn't make them two point. He doesn't ever. Yeah. That's part of the reason I do it because they don't ever practice it. Till I say stop. <laughs> Sophie's excited. She seems excited. Her body's been changing, so I feel like she her growth spurt. is feeling like she can handle it more. Good. She's also riding more. Mm -hmm. More consistently, I should say. Yeah, all the shows have really made a difference. I feel like we did quite a few shows this summer. Fraley, top of the hill. Top of the hill. The Derby. Yeah, and then we did another. The Gwenhurst. Yep. Yeah. That's it, though. Well, so if they all go through, it'll be six by the end. But four for a summer where there were no shows is not bad. No. Not at all. That's why I said it was a good season. Yeah, I thought it was a good season. It was just right, actually. Like, who wants to be gone all the time? Like, that's so much work. I'm never going to have We're praying. <laughs> I feel like Finn's waiting for her. Because I feel like he's got a lot more stuff inside there that he could do. Yes. Rising. Don't rush your rise. Breathe and slow. Yeah. It's not about how fast you can get around the ring. It's not about how fast you can get out of that saddle. It's about how quiet you can land in your saddle. And about how smooth you can make your rising. Bring your upper body back and sit on the front of your saddle. You got a little bit of a fold in your waist. You're leaning forward. We struggle at that with our light feet too. We lean forward and we bend too much. You gotta sit up taller and post from your hips. Much better. Thumbs out of your lap and turn them up, please. Put your reins in your left hand and put your right hand on your helmet. Ooh. Both of you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, only Sophie has to do that. Take your hand and put it across your back. I want you to feel how your hand is kind of pushing your hip forward toward your horse's ears as you rise. Yeah. <laughs> They should be. I can see them moving. Watch you don't sink him on the butt with your whip there. <laughs> that would be funny. <laughs> Sophia, take a look down. Can you see your toes? Should you be able to see your toes? Let's fix that. Means you need to drop your knees more. This is hard for you because your body wants to tip forward and with your hand across your back, it can't. You have to sit up straight and drop your knees. Now slow your rise. You're just trying to go past her. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes when I watch her go so fast like that, I get anxiety. Slow down. Not your hand, your bum. My body starts to speed up like her. Well, because it's easier for her to go faster because she can just go without using muscle. Mm -hmm. She needs to build muscle. That's right. Good. Put that hand up on your shoulder. Wait, left or right shoulder? Right. We're getting to the left. Slow that rise. Drop those knees. Now let's go to the other shoulder. Lift your elbow up in front of your nose. Yeah, you can come in anytime. Yeah. Keep that elbow up like you're pointing with it. You want to use your elbow to point in the direction you want to go. Sophie lost her reins. Yeah. Circle this in. It's hard, isn't it? Keep breathing. Slow your rise. Wendy, it's your turn. You're up. You 
All right. Stand up? I I have a pole at home. They've just been standing here. Yeah. All right. So these are the jumps for today. So you'd be looking so good up on that pony. This is it. Ground poles over there, and then. Hey, ladies. Once I'm sitting down, you're going to ride the poles and count your strides. All right, so they're gonna learn striding. All right, so Gabby says this looks like a three. Wow. One, two, three, four. I was right, I said four. We both rode in four, so let's keep it. Two, three, four, five. Wow, look at him. One, two, three, four. Good eat. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I hope you be flying. One, two, three, four. To add a stride. One, two, three, four. Your horse Okay, they gotta add a stride. That is not cantering. One, two, three, four. Close. Count it out loud and help yourself out. I think you're going to help me. One, two, three, four, five. Yay! It helped that Sophie kicked the pole a little further ahead. <laughs> Look at this girl just riding like a pro. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. You did not get it. We need to get six in there, Sophia. There, go on, you know. He did the lead change. Yes, he does. One, two, three, four. Oh. Oh. Right, good job. Okay, back up to four and five. Five for Finn. Easy. One, two, three, four. Five. Good. Get up to four. Finn's Every time I look away, Finn's doing lead changes. Gabby's taking an extra round to get the lead. One, two. Oh, ooh, that was scary. Go down. Yep. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. Good. Way better quarter than they want. Bobby. Gabby's like, let's do Sophia. I know stirrup lesson. So Sophia's having trouble around the corner, which I never caught, and it was because. She says she has to cut in tighter because of the shavings and then she falls on her on his neck and then can't steer. Yeah, that's a cute path. I'm missing all the good stuff. Alright, so now we're going the other way. Okay. It was so easy to stand through that first time, though. That's why I enjoyed it. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, that was kind of four. One, two, three, four, five. He did have a wrong lead, and then he was cold, and then he swapped it for you. That's right. Yeah. One, two, three, four. Good. One, two, three. One, two, three. Six. One, two, three, four, 
back when the coach starts screaming sit up sit up sit up I know I get a little nervous This is Sophie's thing. We also have Wendy watching just to make sure they behave. So she's got a half and then she's got a X. Why do you think? You're okay. a good little pony. Girls are headed for a trail to cool out. Sophie still feels better being Especially on the road. led. Yeah, Finn doesn't need it. Sophie doesn't need it, but she feels better. One day it's just gonna just throw our $30 whip. I'm gonna leave Wendy here. I'm gonna bring the, I have another stick to make her taller. I'm gonna leave her here though, so that we can use her on our next lesson. Actually like get used to scary things in the, in the job. I'm gonna leave her here and don't want her to feel uncomfortable. Cut her legs some nice. And I'm gonna bring another scarecrow and then maybe some pumpkins or something. Bring them and then the girls, whoever wants to use them, can use them. Clean up the poop. I clean it up pretty much when they are riding, but sometimes some gets left, so I had to make it a habit. I have to make it a habit to go and check after. I feel like all barns should have a list hanging on the door and it should be like you sign your name after you ride signifying that you've checked the arena or cleaned the arena that's what i feel like should happen because it's a hard thing to do like i always try to make sure that i never eat poop and i would swear that i've never left poop before but there have been so many times where i didn't even know and i've left it so i just a little reminder i need hi fancy meeting you here you stopped to get apples? For them. Yeah, there's an apple tree. They ate the apples with their bits? Yeah, they're oh. small. Oh, good job. The only thing I worry about with apples is sometimes they get... How am I supposed to do this while cantering? Hey, jump down. So tell them about your lesson. That you know, was going to make me jump the two, three off the... Two, three, so we have a new rule for Sophie. Some of you guys won't agree. I don't want to get rid of Sandy. I told her that I'm not going to listen to any more crying and complaining and whining. I'm not scared of cross rails anymore. Over cross rails, even over verticals. She can do a little two foot vertical. She's done everything before. She goes into the show and rides like a pro. And yet every time she goes over a jump, she gets inside her head and she has to stop I'm it. I'm not scared of cross rails anymore. Now you need to get not scared of verticals. Verticals are scary things. Verticals are not scary. Single oxers scary. Where did you get all that dirt? Anyway, the point is, is that I have ways that I make myself not be afraid. <laughs> Gabby has ways that she makes herself not be afraid. Sophie wallows in her fear. She doesn't have ways. 
she has to jump it first and then she's fine but she can't get her self to the point of jumping at first and it's getting really hard Aren't you proud that I just jumped the yes I am proud of you so I told her if she doesn't want to jump then she's not going to be jumping so she has to choose and if she chooses that she's going to jump then she has to figure out a way to get her outside or of her or we could just go to dressage you want to go to dressage no she's just joking dressage is no she was just joking I could be an inventor trust me a venter is not is way worse. I'll do jumpers. You still have to do all the things. Things can go fast. It's just about the time. They all think the camera is treats. Anyways, so Sophie's been learning how to get herself over the jump on her own without talking herself out of it. Don't you know that you're beautiful?